of restructuring the universe to suit their own bizarre circular reasoning perspective of life. This is going to get ugly. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that the progressive left is starting to eat itself alive. And this was predictable. This was kind of inevitable because what we're really dealing with here is an ideology predicated on the unquestionable credibility of infinitely finer and finer gradations of individual, subjective, absolute truths. Your version of subjective truth is absolute and it must be validated and it can't be criticized or challenged. And, and your version of subjective truth is absolute and it must be validated and it can't be criticized or challenged and your version of subjective truth is absolute and it must be validated and it can't be criticized or challenged so it was inevitable with all of these absolute truths running around that at some point they would begin to come into conflict with each other and that's what we're starting to see now and because everybody's been encouraged to uh, indulge in the perfection of their own subjective version of truth, nobody's willing to give any ground to anybody else, even if they're supposedly all on the same progressive side. So if you're not following my timetable, if you're not making my priorities your priorities, then sorry, not good enough. We're seeing this now as progressivism is beginning to implode under the weight of its own foundational absurdity. I'll do this really briefly. There's this woman, Nikki Ashton, who is running for the not particularly sought after position of leadership of the federal socialist never elected to govern party in Canada called the NDP. Naomi Klein's grandfather-in-law was leader of the NDP back in the last century. So as part of Nikki's uh, campaign for leadership, she tweeted out a couple of days ago three words from a Beyonce song, and the three words were, uh, to the left. Uh, it's probably one of the Beyonce songs that have managed not to make it onto my playlist because I don't I don't know the reference. But anyway, that's the the three words that she tweeted. Get it to the left, socialist to the left. Right. So in this ever fracturing alternate universe of the progressive left, where the infinitely proliferating factions seem to be competing for recognition as the people least in touch with reality. You had Black Lives Matter Vancouver. Yes, folks, Black Lives Matter Vancouver. Black Lives Matter Vancouver seen some opportunity in this tweet by Nikki uh, to feel oppressed or something. And so they publicly denounced her as appropriating black culture because she used these three words that are apparently referencing uh, a Beyonce song. Now I'm guessing that because Black Lives Matter feels uh, emboldened from having the success of turning being offended into a career path that they now think that they can push the boundaries even further of restructuring the universe to suit their own bizarre circular reasoning perspective of life can arbitrarily declare propriety rights have somehow accrued to an entire racial group for these three words in the English language, at least if the three words are arranged in this particular order. And because we all know that logic runs backwards on the bizarre world of progressive leftism, where the more 
impressed you claim you are, the more power you have. Not only did Nikki Ashton apologize to Black Lives Matter and submissively capitulate to their demands that she delete the tweet, she rushed to demonstrate her fealty to her race-baiting overlords and publicly declared that she would not tolerate racism or hate speech directed at Black Lives Matter or any other movement. Now, I understand that in the closed loop of virtue signaling and moral posturing and self-righteous one-upmanship and unrestrained narcissism that defines progressive left thinking, that all of this seems perfectly reasonable. But for anyone with an intellect functioning above the level of a not particularly gifted 8th grader, <laughs> this is mental. So like I say, this is a pretty good example of a trend that I think we're starting to see where the progressive left is really beginning to uh, implode on itself and attack itself. Um, and I think you're seeing this in a lot of different areas. So in this case, you've got uh, a politician who's very much on the left who is actually encouraging her party to go further to the left, and yet she's being attacked by another faction on the left uh, because she's perceived in their absolutist worldview as having transgressed one of their rules. Um, you're seeing this in feminism where you've got a third, fourth, whatever wave feminists were up to uh, attacking first wave feminists like Jermaine Greer because Jermaine Greer isn't buying into this intersectionality thing quite uh, to the degree that the third or fourth wave feminists demand that she does and that everybody does. And she's uh, not quite on board with the whole transgender thing of I uh, can, uh, a man can suddenly be a woman because he just declares he believes he is. The poster child for all things progressive, Justin Trudeau, um, who was the embodiment of many different <laughs> uh, lefty factions, and now he's being attacked. He's being attacked by uh, environmentalists because he's approved some pipelines. He's being attacked by native activists because he didn't live up to their expectations quite fast enough. He's being uh, attacked recently when he met with Donald Trump, uh, apparently for not, I don't know, punching Donald Trump in the face or something. So I, for one, am enjoying the spectacle of seeing the sanctimonious, self-righteous, professional finger pointers who labeled anyone who disagreed with their lousy leftist opinions as being uh, morally corrupt and throwbacks to the Stone Ages having fingers now pointed in their direction by people who are even more sanctimonious and self-righteous and further on the left than they are. So bring it on because I think we're going to see a lot more of this and if there's any way that we can contribute to the menu, let's do so as we watch the progressive left continue to eat itself alive. When Justin Trudeau says that, he is a liar! He is a hypocrite. He is a white supremacist terrorist. That is what he is.